Hey there guys, Mark here from Sawfly Concepts, and today we're going to be looking at specular maps and bump maps. Uh, normal maps, they're also called. So, normal maps are designed um, to interact with the ambient light in the scenery or game, whatever, and it's to give the illusion of depth in the texture. So, say if a texture is wobbly, um, it'll give you the illusion of that wobbliness being more emphasized, should I say. See, right now we're looking at a fairly plain hangar, and you can see the specular highlight on there, it just, it, you can't, there's, there's no depth. So I've made a specular map for it, let's go ahead and export this object as um, a flight simulator model. I've already saved the textures it came with. It's just a, a model that I made in SketchUp. Let's go to tutorials. Let's pop it in there. Oh, I'll just save it as an FS2004. Oh my god. Royal scenery. Where is it? Delete it. Okay, we still got everything going for us, so export object and go for FSX MDL. Flight simulator tutorials that scenery. Turbo. Okay, that's now saved as a flight sim format object. We've got our textures that we've made here. Now I've got a bump map already. I'm gonna show you about that in a minute. I'm gonna show I'm gonna show that in a minute. But first, let's just copy our two textures over to here. In they go. Okay. So let's bring the object back in. There we are. No difference at all. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and apply the new textures. So first off, Let's start with the specular texture. There it is. Okay, now as always, you're going to notice this looks terrible. Just change the map power scale to whatever 64. Okay, and now we can see we've got some depth on there. Depth is good, depth is what we need. Now I've made it specifically so um, there's no depth on the doors just yet. One more thing we can do is we can make a bump map or a normal map as it's called. We can make that in Photoshop using NVIDIA tools. Um, I'll put the link for that in the description. It's a little bit complicated when you first get it but once you get your head around it it's fairly easy to use. Now to make flight simulator specific bump maps, uh, normal maps, You'll need to do a couple of more things. I'm not going to mention them here simply because there's a much faster way of doing it with Model Converter X. Now you can make your normal maps, bring them in, and then convert them into Flight Simulator format in Model Converter X itself. That's absolutely fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to open the interweb. There it is. And we're going to go on to this website here called Normal Map Online. It's actually not, it's called uh, C-Perity-I-O, Normal Map Online. I'll pop a link in the description, simply because it's easier that way. Now, what you need to do for this is just drag an image in, tweak your settings, and then export uh, by downloading. So let me show you what I mean. We just bring in a normal GA uh, diffuse texture. It will give you the normal map, displacement map, ambient oculation, and the specular. Now you can tweak all the individual settings, so strength, mean, range, and again with the strength, the level, and blur and sharpness and you end up with something you know, that you quite like the look of. Now if we turn off ambient oculation and displacement you get to see vaguely what the textures will look like working together. 
and that's what we want. But um, like I said, we're just going to be focusing on the normal map. So give it a name, click on download. If you just download it as it is, or just download as normal map. Um, but yeah, pop a name in and download the texture. So we're done with that. I've got the texture already in the folder. And we've got our specular applied. So let's go ahead and apply our bump map. Bump texture. And it's just call that, isn't it? And it's also bump. There we go. Now I didn't do this in my last tutorial because there was no need. Um, the puddles look they look fine. But with this, um, if you apply a non-flight simulator format bump map, you'll notice that a couple of things change that you don't particularly want. Uh, let's go down to bump scale in other texture info. Change it to one. Okay, now we've got this funky looking sort of bubbliness. And that's fine for now. Just leave it as it is for now. Go ahead and save the textures. Like that. Export the object. Like that. And then bring it back in. Like that. Now, nothing's changed with regards to the weird bubbliness. But at the same time, it doesn't look very realistic. You you look at it and you think to yourself, that is not quite what I'm going for. I mean the light's coming from this side, but yet it's giving me the light shine from here. Yeah. What you want to do is click on the material editor, click on textures, and we'll see our bump map here. Right click on it and click on normal map. No, I should say hover over normal map. And you'll find normal map to FS normal map. And below that you'll find FS normal map to normal map. So normal normal map. We want to click on the top one. And boom. It still looks a bit crappy, I'm not going to lie. But the, the light is now coming from the correct side. And as well as that, you can... You can tweak things now. You can go back to the normal map online. You can edit things the way you want them to be. And I'm not too sure what's happened there. There we go. And you can edit things the way you want them to be. You can turn down the the roughness, and you can adjust things a little bit until it looks the way you want it to look. So let's go ahead and do that, shall we? Go into here. Take that out. And change it for the PNG version. We've just saved. Much better. That is much nicer. I prefer that so much more. There we go. Now, if you do change it, remember to overwrite existing. There we go. So now if we export the object. And then bring it back in. I'm just going to close that, it's annoying me now. And then bring it back in. Looks so much nicer. Yeah, perfect. Now this can be used in all sense of ways. So say if you've made normal maps before and realize it doesn't quite look good in flight sim, 
make sure they're flats in format because if they're not, they can be a little bit annoying. Anyway, that's how you make bump maps for Flight Simulator um, using normal maps. You can go ahead and generate them through Photoshop or you can use normal map online. Again, link in the description. My name is Mark from Soulfly Concepts. If you did like this tutorial, hit the thumbs up button, let me know. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already. And tell your friends that we have cookies. Because we have cookies. Not many left. I'm going to eat the rest. But we have cookies. Okay. Brilliant. That is my outro. I have not practiced it. And this is a specular shine. Well, that was fun. Bye!